See this? See this? See this piece of donkey dookie? You're going to remember this as the day the music died. The day DRM finally bit the big weenie. I'm Leo Laporte. You may remember me from such fine programs as my friend Zinc and the screensavers. This is a Microsoft Zune. Now everybody, I, I have to say, when I first played with a Zune, I thought this is nice. Saw, little rubbery, uh, beautiful screen. I mean, when you put video on here, I would do it, but it's gonna take me like 18 clicks because it's a Microsoft product. When you put video on here, you know, it, it's bigger than an iPod. It's pretty easy to see. There was a lot to like about this when I first saw it. I mean, look at that. That's a that's an FM radio. Isn't that cool? And you could tune it and, you know, that's cool. Of course, who the hell wants to listen to FM radio on this thing? I mean, you know, but anyway, let's let's assume you do. But there's a couple of things, you know, you go, oh, this is neat. First thing you do is you go, but hey, it doesn't turn. They got a click wheel that doesn't turn. OK, 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 I can dig that. Maybe maybe there's patents involved. What else doesn't it do? Oh, oh hey, it's got look, it's got Wi-Fi on it. Now that's cool. Wi-Fi, you know? You could surf the net, right? Wrong! You could, um, I don't know, download and buy music from Microsoft, right? Wrong! You can't do anything with the Wi-Fi. The only thing you can do is, in uh, Steve Ballmer's immortal words, squirt a song out of this into somebody else's Zoom. Hey, baby. <laughs> Mind if I squirt you a song? And then they get it. Three days later, it stops working. You can only play it three days or three plays, whichever comes first. The real problem with the Zune is I see it. Great device, great idea, great engineering. Then the committee at Microsoft got a hold of it and said, oh, well, you, know, you can't do that, you can't do that without changes. The thing that's really, really frosts my man parts is that this, every time you buy this, money goes into the pockets of universal music. Microsoft agreed to pay the record companies for the hardware, not the songs, the hardware. That means, essentially, that they're agreeing, yeah, it's gonna be used for piracy, so we should give you guys some money. Now, I imagine, this is just the beginning from Universal's point of view, great, we can go to Apple now, we can go to everybody, we can get money every time they sell an iPod, we're gonna be rich! Well, you know what? You're not gonna be rich. You know why? This is the beginning of the end of digital rights management, of money the motion, the records of companies, money the motion picture association, People have finally seen the light. I've seen the light. I'm not buying this. You shouldn't buy this. The Zoom, to Zoom. Say goodbye. Hey, 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 one more thing. Slogan, welcome to the social. What the holy heck of a hockey stick does that mean? Welcome to the social. A social, ice cream social? What? So, what were they thinking?